Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do standard deviation but with a frequency table. Now when you are doing a frequency table it is exactly the same as you had done standard deviation when you did not have a frequency table. So it's the same method that we would have applied here. However now you would make use of the frequency table on your calculator. Now when you start first press shift and set up go down and then you would see number three which is stats make sure that frequency is on which is one then go to mode and number two then you're going to press number one for variance and you're going to start filling in the information now under x you're going to fill in all the following information so you're going to press 0 equals to 1 equals 2 equals 3 equals 4 equals 6 equals 7 equals 8 equals 9 equals 10 equals. Now remember you would have had 11 datas, 11 points to fill in. Then go up with your frequency. Under 0 you're going to put 3 equals. Then you're going to put 2 equal 1 equal 5 equals 7 equals 6 equal 2 equal. 4 equals 5 equals 2 equals 1 equal. Then you're going to press AC. You're going to press shift 1. You're going to go to number 4 which is variance and you're going to press number 3 which is standard deviation which is equal to. So using your calculator you get the answer that the standard deviation is equal to 2,63. Now on the calculator it says 2,627 but we are rounding off to two decimal places so it's 2,63. Now when they say calculate the variance, the variance is simply the standard deviation squared. So you're going to take the standard deviation and you're going to square it. So we're going to say 2,63 and we're going to square the answer which will equal to 6, 9. So the variance is 6,9. Now they will ask how many learners are within one standard deviation of the mean. Standard deviation always works with the mean. So you already got the information on your calculator. All you have to do is press shift 1, go to number 4 which is variance, then press number 2 which will give you the mean. X with the line on top refers to mean, which means the mean is equal to 4,87. Rounded off again. Now when, when they say how many learners are within one standard deviation of the mean, you need to take the standard deviation, which is 2,63, and the mean, which is 4,87. So we got the mean is 4,87. We got the standard deviation as 2,63. Now if they want to know how much is within one standard deviation, we are going to subtract 2,63 and we are going to add 2,63. So we've got 4,87 minus 2,63 which is equal to 2,24 and then we're going to say 4,87 plus 2,63 which is equal to 7,5. Now, how many are within one standard deviation? So, what they are asking, how many children collect spending between 2,24 and 7,5? Now, 2,24 would mean that I have to take 3 from 3. And then we've got 4, 5, 6, 7 would also fall in that, but 8 would not. So, how many are within one standard deviation? If we total this, we'd have had... 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 2 plus 4, 24. So, how many are within one standard deviation? 24 learners. Can you see how we took all the answers within that distance? So, we know within one standard deviation is 24 learners. Right. <coughs> now, remembering the standard deviation, if they ask you to comment on the data, you can say 
that most learners are within one standard deviation. There are 38 learners altogether. Now 24 are within one standard deviation. If you want to, you can calculate a second standard deviation. Now remember, if you say 2,24 minus 2.63 it will give us negative 0, 0,12. Okay, and if we say 7,5 plus 2,63 it will give us 10,13. Now you can clearly see the lowest is 0 and the highest is 10. Both will fall within the standard deviation of second standard deviation. So 38 completes the second standard deviation. When information starts exceeding standard deviation, then it means the data is totally spread out. But when it is within one standard deviation, then it means the data is clustered towards the mean, which is good. And there are few that are, without, that are out of the first standard deviation, but within the second standard deviation is what we're trying to aim. As long as all the data is within second standard deviation, it means we have a fairly good data. Now remember, I'm showing that the entire, you see here, I'm showing that the entire data lies within second deviation, which is right, because the 24 is still under that bracket. If I want to ask what is the values or how many only lie within the second standard deviation. Now you see when I use the word only, then you can say, between the first and the second standard deviation would be 38 minus 24, which will give you 14. So the amount of people that lie within the second standard deviation is 14. Thank you for watching.